But with that said, this loss definitely knocked me off of this like high horse I was on. I was going around knocking everybody out or knocking them down to the canvas, making you know tens of millions of dollars for these fights all in one night. And it's tough. You can you can lose motivation, and I I think it's it's true. Uh, Marvin Hagler, one of the greatest boxers of all time, said you know it's tough to stay motivated when you're waking up or going to sleep in satin sheets meaning expensive sheets and you're surrounded by luxuries. Um, and I think that I definitely fell a victim to that. Um, and this is good. This is good for me. You know, it, it's a reality check. Use me as what not to do. <laughs> don't, don't let that happen to you. It's easier said than done. And it kind of, it's creeps up on you and you know, all of a sudden you, you lose out of nowhere, but use me as maybe a way to avoid that same mistake. Um, and this might be your, you might be someone who's like high on your horse right now, has a big ego, is comfortable. Don't get too comfortable. That's my message to, to y'all watching this right now. I'm not sure how I feel about this fight, but I can say that I am interested and I have no issues paying for it. Jake Paul will be taking on Nate Diaz, former UFC champion, one of the biggest UFC fighters of all time, especially when you think of, uh, uh, or when you talk about profitability and bringing in revenue for the UFC, biggest fights with Conor McGregor, two of them. He's been a part-time UFC fighter for the last several years, but still has remained relevant despite losing a significant amount of fights. The fight's going to be taking place on August the 5th in the American Airlines Arena in Dallas, Texas. That's where the um, Dallas Mavericks play. I can't even believe that they didn't even make the play in. Uh, games in the playoffs. The fight was announced yesterday on the 12th, about less than 24 hours or so ago. It is 9, 12 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Let's hear what Max Kellerman had to say about the fight on his brief segment on um, ESPN yesterday, and then we'll read some of the details. I got to tell you, this is a perfect fight for Jake Paul. Boy, he has a knack for picking opponents. He stepped up and fought a real professional Ooh. boxer, inexperienced one, but Tommy Fury is heavyweight oh. champion Tyson Fury. Fury's half-brother and has been boxing since he was a kid, on and off. And Jake Paul lost his first fight. He fought well, but he lost his first fight. He needs to make big events. He shouldn't jump right back in with, with Tommy Fury, a guy who just beat him. So how do you stay active in a fight you ought to win because you have more experience as a boxer and you need a name opponent to make a big event? Nate Diaz is perfect. And by the way... I think Nate Diaz is perfect, too, because this is one of those fights that has a lot of buzz. We're not sure what the price is going to cost. It's going to be on the zone pay-per-view. I wouldn't be surprised if they do $65 or $75 for this. He's had the ability to jump from networks. I believe it was a two-fight deal he had with Showtime, right? He was on the zone, then two fights with um, Showtime, then on the ESPN, and now back on the zone. The details are, once again, August the 5th in the American Airlines Arena in Dallas. I'm expecting the fight to be a sellout and for Dallas to be rocking. 185 pounds, and it's going to be eight rounds in 10-ounce gloves. By the way, we got some clip here of Nate Diaz sparring Regis Progray several years ago. This is on Regis Progray's YouTube channel. As you can see, Nate Diaz is no slouch when it comes to boxing. Um, however, I'm not saying that he won't get knocked out by Jake Paul because Jake Paul has a dynamite right hand. But I would say that looking at the, the, the level of competition, especially when you think about mixed martial arts, I would say that Nate Diaz is a better striker than Tyron Woodley. Not a better striker than Anderson Silva, but Anderson Silva was long in the tooth and he just really looked old in there at his age. Here is a Nate Diaz's uh, mixed martial arts career, 21 and 13. He's 37 years old, six foot tall. Last fight was against Tony Ferguson in which he won was the end of his UFC uh, contract. Leon Edwards, Jorge Masvidal, Anthony Pettis, Conor McGregor, two fights. 
as you can see, he's been relatively inactive, you know, pretty much averaging about one fight a year or so, give or take. But now he's in to possibly make more money than he's made since the Conor McGregor fight. We don't know what his pay is, but I wouldn't be surprised if he makes more money fighting Jake Paul than he did for the first Conor McGregor fight. I think that Nate Diaz can pull it off, but I don't know what his boxing style is. By the way, he's often been seen up in the Bay Area training um, in the gym of Andre Ward and Virgil Hunter. So he has been thinking about boxing for some time and he can box, but striking and boxing is, is, is different. And Jake Paul is a boxer and he knows how to plant that right hand. By the way, let's go check in and see what uh, our guy Tommy Fury is doing. Thanks for watching. Please take your time out. Like the video. Subscribe. Jeez. You know, he let that novelty belt kind of go to his head, huh? Taking some time off. Enjoying some of the money. He's supposed to be fighting a pop singer. One Direction's Liam Payne. Please tell me this is not true. What does he get from this? He won a belt, right? A novelty belt, an expensive novelty belt to be ranked by the WBC. I forgot which ranking he got, but it wasn't top 15, but it was like, okay, you're on your way to a title shot. And this is what he's doing. This is what's wrong with boxing right now. You have these novelty matches happening more than the fights that we actually want to see. And these novelty novelty matches, like they, they, they are profitable. Like, who is this man? And I've heard of One Direction, but let me see. Liam Payne is one of the most random celebs ever. He has a kid named Cheryl Cole, apparently dated Naomi Cam Campbell, has a random song with Quavo, was at the Oscars, and felt the need to give the world his thoughts on Will Smith and fighting Tommy Fury. Am I missing something here? This is him as dance moves. So I'm guessing he's just protecting the bag uh, because eventually that Tommy Fury and uh, Jake Paul two fight is going to come. I can't blame Jake Paul for fighting Nate Diaz now because if he loses again to Tommy Fury or back to back losses to a natural um, a natural boxer, then he loses that. You know, the, the Nate Diaz fight goes down. I'm interested in when they're going to have the press conference, where they're going to have it. And I'm expecting the reason why these guys haven't been talking shit on social media probably because in the contract, Nate Diaz is not allowed to. And that's going to generate some really heavy hitting online social media content when them two do first face off at a press conference and trade words. Here is um, his record. Tommy Fury, he lost split decision. I think he lost that fight, but he did put on a hell of a performance against a boxer and he dropped Tommy Fury. Anderson Silver, Tyron Woodley twice, Ben Askren, Nick D, I mean Nate Robinson, and Ali and, and Elson Gibb. This KSI fight is also still out there, but I think Jake Paul will beat KSI personally. Even though I'm interested in this fight, don't get me wrong. I don't really condone this because it's just like, you know, like what are these guys doing? So let's close the video out just in case they copyright it um, or claim it with the trailer for the fight that was released yesterday by Nate Diaz. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And I'm going to be doing more videos like this where you don't see my face and somewhat edited content because believe it or not, it's a lot easier and more comfortable to get out than being on burnout or than getting burnt out, have my face on YouTube all damn day. That shit could be tiring, you know? Nate Diaz, fight me. Think you're the top? Creme de la creme right here. I'm coming for you.